on traditional measures, budget surpluses, people would look at us and go, you're doing okay. But we have homelessness at staggering rates. One of the highest rates of youth suicide in the OECD. Our mental health and well-being is not what it should be. So our plan is through the well-being work that we're doing, a living standards framework, and our well-being budget, where if you're a minister, you want to spend money, you have to prove that you are going to improve intergenerational well-being. We are hoping to embed in actually what the public is asking us for, to address the societal well-being of our nation, not just our economic well-being. Robert Kennedy, I think, said it very poetically. He said that the GDP doesn't measure the beauty of our poetry, the clean, cleanliness of our air, the happiness of our children. In short, it doesn't measure all the things that makes life, life worth well. living. And that's something I think we can do better on. If you substitute Wikipedia for Encyclopedia Britannica, you get a lot more knowledge for free. Um, and GDP actually goes down because the production cost is less. But I would think that most of us would agree that our well-being, our welfare, goes up. So you can see GDP and welfare are two different concepts. There is no one number that will capture everything. Just as when you're driving in a car, it wouldn't make sense to average together the, the speed and the how much gas you have in the tank and the oil pressure and the, the temperature in your air conditioner to one number. That would be a useless number. Similarly, we can't expect GDP to measure everything in the economy. Any minister who wants to deliver a bid and say, I want to spend some money here, has to show how it will benefit us at an intergenerational level. They also have to work with other ministers. So the Minister of Health might want to work with the Minister of Child Poverty and start delivering uh, interventions that make a difference 30 years down the track. I don't think it's the end of GDP. I think it's the beginning, though, of doing things differently. Um, and we distill it down in New Zealand just to say that for us, it's about bringing kindness and empathy to governance, and measures of wellbeing help us to do that. <laughs>